Before learning about multi maps, we should see some of the fundamental things of map. Now, if I insert this example was taken from the previous video, if I insert a key, uh, let's say this is Bellman, and I assign a value to it. Now, if you run this code, If you run this code, you can see, although I have inserted this bellman at the uh, at the first place, but it appears somewhere here. It's because in C++ map, every key is stored in a sorted manner. So if you don't want to get this thing uh, to be sorted, you can use something called unordered map. And everything will be same as this. So if you use the unordered map, uh, you can see everything is scattered it's not sorted uh, it actually whenever it gets some place it just stores this value so it was all about uh, the sorted nature of map now let's say that you want to find something inside this map let's say that you want to find what is the salary of okay if you want to uh, get if you want to search whether a key exists inside the map or not uh, to doing uh, for doing that you should use this piece of code let's say that i want to find whether uh, whether this edward key exists or not so uh, if it exists then you can uh, we can use this find method and we can pass the value of the key it will search for this key inside this map and if it's found if, if it's found then it's going to return the pointer to that key value pair so we can store that in this uh, i so uh, we should not give this data type if you want to give the data type you could have been use a map of type iterator iterator of type map but c plus plus 11 offers this uh, automatic uh, type uh, detection so you can simply use this auto keyword now if uh, let's say that the value is uh, or the key is uh, not found if the key is not found then this this will re return a special life of pointer which is equals to the, this s dot n so this s dot end pointer is returned whenever something is not found. So if it's not found, it's going to return uh, this s dot end. Otherwise, it will return uh, the pointer to that key value pair. And using that pointer, we can access uh, using this first. We can access what is the key. Using the second one, uh, we can access the value. Let's try to execute this code, and you can see it has returned Edward. Now. If in, st in place of Edward, if I write like uh, X, Y, Z, let's try to see what happens. Uh, you can see it, it's now printing key not found. So using this find function, we can search for existence of any key. And one thing you should note that searching anything inside a map takes order of log n time. So searching is uh, pretty fast in C++ map because in map everything is stored in a hash table manner so every key is stored inside a bucket and each bucket is actually uh, represented using some height balanced binary search tree it can be avl tree uh, red black tree it depends on the inner implementation of that data structure now uh, let's try to see that uh, there is another employee uh, named uh, albert if you write uh, salary of albert as Albert is equals to 15,000 then you you should notice that uh, the previous Albert is is being replaced by this new salary of the Albert so map doesn't offer uh, to store duplicate keys inside it the solution to this is we should use multi map so in the next video I will be discussing about multi maps thanks for watching this video